think we got it this time, but I also just realized I need to turn off the heater. Ah, this stream's a mess already. Okay, I'm gonna start letting folks know that we are in fact live. Let me just, uh, unfortunately I actually haven't composed a proper message yet because I did. Oh, Twitter, 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 why are you doing this to me? Uh... I hate that when it shows like, when like, the <sighs> anyway, let me just, uh... Final Fantasy 14 Friday time. I was saying food on one of the servers I'm on or whatever. I mean, to be fair, food is pretty dope. Hey, thank you very much for the host milk steak. I apologize for a little bit behind schedule. We should be on shortly, but right now I just have some usual boring with promotion stuff to do and for some reason there's a lot of noise going on upstairs i wonder why well whatever the case may be it's still better than <gasps> with a fan in the background right <clears throat> you know what it is i think someone's jumping in the bathroom Okay, I believe that's everything. Um, I'm gonna be also jumping into VC with some of my peeps, and then we can uh, finally, finally, finally start to get things ready to go. Let me just uh, I'm assuming, yeah, game's night. Okay. Okay, good. So you can't hear me. All right, good, because I was worried I wasn't. I was shut off for a second. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. How you guys doing? I don't know if I'm. A, I don't know if they can hear you right yet, but we'll see. Uh, now I just have to actually boot up the blooming thing. So we're not that far behind schedule, but we're far enough that I find it annoying. <laughs> The internet wasn't okay. like the internet wasn't connecting properly and that makes me angry because like i could have had this ready to go like like by the time i i was down and now steam isn't launching for some reason why why aren't you launching steam are you really gonna make me have to read like uh... <laughs> what steam steam don't do this to me come on are we really doing this now are we really doing this now 
Oh my goodness. What's this doing? It's not working, like at all. It just won't turn on. Every time we play Final Fantasy, I have some sort of technical issue. Have you noticed that? <laughs> Come on, almost dead. <laughs> I'd say just cursed in this instance. Let's just try launching it this way, because, like, like, I don't know. Because Steam is just not working. Oh, what's the loot? Oh, yes, I can need those. Heck yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the controller's all set up. Okay. Yeah. These people better leave because, yeah, I'm getting those claws. <laughs> what do you mean the? Oh my goodness. <sighs> I swear we'll get started. immediately like glamour that hi hello i'll see you in the comments there oh no come on don't start this crap yep pro controller also hi milk steak and style and dresser Oh, god damn it! Oh, this is making me upset. Like, it says that Steam is on, but like, it, it, like, the screen is not showing up. And it's not on my second screen either. Try exit. No, it is not. So, are we gonna launch Steam? Are we gonna go? No, of course we're not gonna launch. God damn it! Okay, are you launching now? Thank you. Oh my god. <sighs> yes, very. Oh, by the way, I can't I can't see that message that you sent me for some reason. I sent no message. No, I'm talking to Corgi. Corgi sent me a message and a uh, like with a game, and I can't check it for some reason because Steam is the worst. Oh my goodness! Uh... It, would be, it would be in your in I think it'd be in your inventory. I am checking my inventory. It is saying there is zero new items. Even though it's saying that there's a notification. Set up before. Just being a butt. When is it not? I can't believe I've had to spend eight minutes just setting up again. I don't think I can hear me or Sam. Uh, Milkstick said. Or Corgi is incredibly quiet. I have a good talking. Uh, Milkstick said that they could hear that that they could hear you. I heard myself, but again, also incredibly quiet. Huh. I don't know why, because I have desktop audio about as uh, loud as it can go without it being distracting. And that's the vo that would be your guys' volume command, so... Okay, are we good? Can I, can I start my damn stream? Can we do the thing now, Steam? Can I, can I play my game? Oh my god! I got it to work, but now it's not showing up on my stream! Ah! Confound you, Steam! You drive me to drink! Or not stream, in this case it would be Streamlabs. Okay! Are we good? Computer, can I play my game now? 
need to tap there. Ah! I'll try turning up your desktop audio and then see if that helps. Music's also very quiet, so I'm going to uh, turn that back up when I get when I can get back in the settings. Where's my phone? Where did my phone go? Okay, start that. <sighs> Okay, so all that frustration aside, how is everyone? I go. Decrease your volume just a touch. And increase the sample. General. There we go. Would we again? Actually, uh, no. Charon is clearly wearing like uh, like some sort of speedo or like briefs or something. See. It's a step away from a thong, from a jockstrap. I mean, no, there's uh, there's there's too much ass coverage. Anyway, um, I wanted to go I to my a step away. Yeah, but that's a pretty significant step, <laughs> especially yeah, when you're as dummy thick as Charon. <laughs> yeah, but it's also easily rectified. Where would that be then, if it's not in the system? Oh, it's. I... <laughs> System configuration. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have to go to Costa. We have to go to Costa. I shall stuff. meet you there. Oh no, that's listening position. I did. Uh... I'm just going to unlock something, then I'll be there. Okey doke. Just there we go. I, I turned the master unlock. volume up to 50, so you should get. So you guys should be able to hear the game audio a little bit better. I'm just unlocking a Garuda hard currently. Okay. Today was nice and lazy, just the way I like it. I actually did a lot. Of, oh, by the way, when I, while before, while in between th uh, sessions, I got a gal kitten, and it's like super cute. Anyway, uh, mm. baby. Oh, also, I'm new armor for Sharon, so he's not wearing that same armor that he wears every session. It's really nice looking, and I decided that I like how it looks, so... I am this happy is his, with my watermelon. This is his default um, look right now. Watermelon. It wasn't even that expensive. I know. Alright, so uh, have we already formed a party, or...? Not yet. Okay, shall I, or does someone else want to? Nice, nice. Ooh, I like that armor. Oh, and uh, before we continue, I do actually have something to say. Uh, very, thank you very much to Raider Sonic. Thank you very much for the for following. Uh, he did that about an hour, or he or she did that about an hour ago. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for that. Time for daily. Ah! Oh, Corgi, what you were quiet when you said "as" ah, for some reason. Ah. There we go. You, it's just you, you were you're just cutting out a little bit, but you know sometimes I can't be helped. Discord. Uh, There's a uh, bunch of people on internet. It's understandable. Interwebs. Thankfully, it's not affecting my stream quality at all. Hello, Zeke. Your Uber is here. <laughs> oh, I was already here. On. Um... So we're going to Costa de Sol, eh? Yes. All right. Deep dish pizza. Mmm, pizza. We did hamburger helper for dinner. It's good. I do have the thing for Little I thought... Caesars. It's actually really good. Um, I thought I had Costa de Sol as one of my things. Oh, there we go. Seen Lee Eastern Lanasa guy. I thought it was okay. So for anyone watching, if you could see in the top right there, there is... Oh, my Uber's here, guys. Your Uber is here. <laughs> it's your Uber He's driver. I'm outside. Do you want to swing from the chocobo? Ah, <laughs> look at Sharon. Perfect. Anyway, um, so uh, in case you check on the top right of the screen, that we have a subscriber goal. We're already at 90% of it. You have uh, about a week to get us to... 60 subscribers and upon reaching 60 subscribers we can have another bonus stream which will be up to you guys to determine what you want it to be 
Is the gremlin slamming her thing? Yes. <sighs> Jenna, can you get her some water so she stops? Uh, dresser, no, I didn't get your messages. Yeah, give me a sec. Also, hi, dresser. But no, I didn't get any of her messages. Oh yeah, in case you weren't on Fox's Skyrim stream yesterday, his commissions are open again. Mm. Yes. This um this vixen does in fact have commissions open and ready to go. <laughs> Thanks for saying hi, woo woo. But no problem. But I'm I'm sorry I didn't get any messages you sent me. Um I don't know how much voice acting I'm gonna do at this moment because I'm eating, but I might do some later. Oh. Why are we being attacked by a party of Waluigi's? Pardon me. That is not an inappropriate description. Uh, yes, my commissions are in fact open. Fox eating ASMR. Dinner, 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 dinner. I should mention, we've only got a few slots left, so grab them while you can. What is this, Yakuza? Consulting Inspector Briar Dean, your reputation precedes you. I won't pray tell you what you propose. I promise that I will also spend my money. Not earlier than that. Sorry, it's just there it was like absolutely no noise. I wasn't saying anything because I thought you were gonna be like be reading it all. Well, so. I, I'm eating. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I mean, to be fair, we're all eating. Dinner, yeah. dinner. Yeah, but I, I would be the one reading the dialogue. Blah, 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 blah. Dialogue, 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 dialogue. Oh my gosh, it's there. Uh, did you tell them what we're doing today? It's more Hildebrand quest. Yee. Yay, Hildebrand. <clears throat> I like how you can hear like awkward claps in the background.
here for the awkward, I don't know. I'm here for the awkward. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> awkward. <laughs> awkward! <laughs> Excuse me. So, Fox, what are your thoughts on the Hildebrand quest line so far? It, uh, it's something. <laughs> it is, uh, pretty much exactly what I expected. Jojo means not the who. Shit post. Yeah. That's the shit post quest line, and I love it. Abyss, you said a swear. Bring it right back. Does, does, does it count in that particular phrasing? I think so, yeah. That's dumb. Poop post. There. Bag of hippies. Okay, uh... In the meantime, I have a promising lead to investigate. I shall return before the banquet begins. But, oh, thank you for petting Fembot. And yes, thank you, Fembot, for reminding people that I do, in fact, take tips. It's a really quick and easy way to help support the stream. And uh, also help with things like uh, better equipment and games in the future. So, yeah, help support the stream. <laughs> I have a promise. In the meantime, I have a promising lead to investigate. I shall return before the banquet begins. While I know this may be asking much, do try not to do anything too stupid in my absence, will you? I don't even remember if that's the voice I gave him last time. I would speak with you, but not here. I will be waiting for you outside Costa de Sol. Why is there, like, a black void in the background? I will be waiting for you outside... Oh, I already started that. Come quickly, for we do not have the luxury of time. I, I, I think that was the voice I gave him last time. I, I don't remember. Eh, close enough. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just waiting for you guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, God, you're already talking to him? Jeez, fine. I have already spoken to him. I read dialogue quickly. You've come. <laughs> Excellent. With that buffoon suitably distracted, we can get to more important matters. But before we proceed, what might I call you? Sharon. An unremarkable name, but it will suffice. At least people can, can pronounce my name. <laughs> now, I love how we did all that work with him in the last episode, and like, uh, he did not. Ste Steel Talon. That. Steel Talon. What are you doing? What are you doing, Steel Talon? Steel Talon. Steel Talon, what are you doing? Is he walking into nothing on your guys' uh, in your guys's game too? Yes. Yeah, yes. it's because he's stuck on the on the wood. All right. I, yeah, I know that, but like maybe he should. All right, whatever. Now answer me this, Sharon. You he's were there. To impress Oni. I guess so. Yeah. You were there when the, the phantom one, thief in the guise of Lady Dorilda stole off with the treaty blade. Was there anything about our four foe's disguise that struck you as particularly noteworthy? I like your voice acting with him. I'd make his affliction a little higher, but the pitch the same. The perfect mannerisms? Intriguing. Where most would point out the sheer physical perfection of the disguise, you turn an eye within. A thorough inspection of the mask left behind at the scene revealed a tiny prism soon into the fabric. If it is stone, that allows him to change appearance at will, and yet, like you, this was of secondary concern to me. From movements to mannerisms to that utterly obnoxious personality, the thief did not merely look like Lady Dorilda, he was her. Such a feat could not be accomplished by magical trickery alone. We are dealing with a clever and thorough criminal, not content to rely on his ample powers of disguise. He studies his targets. Oh, finally... Steel Talon finally stopped. Um, before assuming their identities, he emulates them utterly and completely. That is not even their closest friends or family could detect that art is amiss. <clears throat> Excuse me. All the key players arrived at Costa de Sol three days ago. When per 
preparations for the banquet began. This would afford our thief more than enough time to study this would-be target. And yet, some disguises are more challenging than others. Put yourself in the mind of our phantom... Phantom? Phantom, Charon. If you were the thief, whose identity would you first assume? Precisely. Clearly, you are far less useless than the bumbling inspector whose company you keep. Strong in number, few of words, able to come and go as they please. A fearsome reputation to scare away anyone who would draw near enough to realize something was amiss. Any ideal entry into Costa de Sol for our man. I just want to point out that Hildebrand knew well enough that he probably came to the king this very same conclusion. And that's why he was disguised as one of the guards. <laughs> just saying. And he already acted upon his plan. I that I'm just that's all I'm gonna say on that. <clears throat> Deducing as much, I made a point to question brass blades in the area. Little, who hung up? Hello. Not what? me. Oh, I, I'm assuming that was Corgus. Nope, that was me. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Little to my surprise, I learned that there were that there was, was one man who had not been seen at his favorite alehouse for three days past. Our thief has not made a habit of wanton murder. Doubtless the poor man is lying naked in a ditch not far from here. Excuse me. In addition to general security duties, each of the blades has been assigned to serve as bodyguard for one or more eh, of the guests. If the man can tell us of his assigned charge, like as not, his answer will reveal the current identity of our thief. Our thief would not have the time to carry the unconscious man far. I will canvas the immediate area. You begin your search on the outskirts of Costa de Sol. Cool. I'm going to have me some chippies now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a teleport offer for Limza Lamenza. Don't need it. Save it. Didn't you just complain that it was too much food that I gave, that I gave everyone? I wasn't complaining. Get in. <laughs> Get in the Uber! Damn what? it! I'm right here! Well, I waited! I'm trying! You keep walking around! Wee. Oh, I'm flying on the T-Rex. Yay! I love it. Anyway, uh, love so just as a gentle reminder, uh, we do have a subscription goal in the top right. Mm -hmm. Um... We reach that, we'll, we'll get a bonus stream that you guys will get to pick what we do from a um, from a poll. And we're very close. You guys have a whole week to reach it. We're already at 90%. So, yeah, looks like we're doing pretty good. There we go. Brass Blade of the Gibur. Gerbera. Gibura. Whatever. Excuse me. You're okay. Excellent. You're one of the less incompetent assistants I have worked with. Th thank the gods! Please free me from these chains before the snippers eat me alive! What a pansy-ass guard. <laughs> there. Now tell me all you can remember about what happened to you, and try to be brief. We we just arrived in Costa de Sol. Had a brief in a sorts. Master gave us each our orders, who we'd be looking after and the like. Had a mind to tour the area, get my barons, and the next thing I knew, I felt a thwack on the back of my head. When it came to, here I was, stripped of my skivvies. Much to the chagrin, much to the chagrin of those of us who have to look at you. You say you received orders from Master. Who was to be your charge? My memory's hazy, but ah. One was Morgant, father of the groom. The other was Lalafelin, gent from Limza. Yelto Nolto. Now try your best to remember. Were there any other guests with whom you were ordained to interact? Come to think of it, yes. There was also the steward, Luinart. I was to review with him the schedule of events, discuss the protection of key supplies, that sort of thing. Morgant, Yelto Nolto, and Luinart. Thank you for an incompetent fool. Your testimony has proved astonishingly enlightening. I shall see this man back to the city near the possession of some new clothes, after which I shall return to Costa de Sol to continue the investigation. Go on ahead of me, and for the love of gods, just make sure that imbecile doesn't cause too much trouble in my absence. I like how he nodded. It's like, yep. Yeah. 
Briarden is supposed to be based on uh, Sherlock, right? Yes. Um. Well, oh, hold on. Wait a second. I have to go get my blanket because it's cold down here. <laughs> You could just get on the carriage and I'll take you there while you're there. Alright, never mind. What's the point of an Uber if you don't use it? Hello? I'm back. I <laughs> you could have gotten in the carriage before you left here. Oh wow! Oh. You could have been there. Uh, Ada, that's uh, that that's on your end because everyone else can hear. <laughs> Hi. Oh. You okay? I sneezed and my elbow hurts. Uh, oh. Uh, 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 what? <laughs> That does happen. Okay. My sneezes tend to jar my body so much that the, that they cause my entire body to go into pain. Okay, no, that is true. Oh, it dab. is not pleasant. Ah, oh, hang on. Guy ate my chippies. Bye. Ah, there you are, friend. And not a moment too soon, for I was about to commence my investigation in earnest. Tell me, did you and your in did you and Inspector Briar Dean's avenue of inquiry bear fruit? Oh, okay. Morgan, Yalto Nalto, and the Stuart Lewin art, you say? This does not surprise me. Yes, I had considered them all exceptionally suspicious from the start. With the lapis made in a danger, we cannot afford a, mo afford a moment's delay. I, Hildebrand, shall have our thief in shackles before the inspector returns. Fear not, friend. The inspector shall be none the wiser. <laughs> if he had hopes to nab the fiend for himself, he should not have simplified the, ta simplified the task for me so. Ah, there is one of our suspects standing suspiciously under that canopy over there. Just you wait, fiend. I shall rip the mask from your face and reveal you for the rogue that you are. This only promises to end well. Was this not the guy? Um, okay. Oh, that's oh there. Oh, okay. There's, it's because, okay. Morgan. Down there. In the, yeah. Oh, no. Stand back, friend. The man we pursue is a criminal mastermind. The merest slip of the tongue could put our case, nay, our very lives in danger. But have no fear, Miss Ellie. Ready your quill, that you might record my every word as I employ the time-honored art of parlay, hand down from Mandeville men of ages past, to reveal our foe! I can think of a few topics that would interest my readers less than your blatherings. Just catch the thief so I can have my story, would you? Don't- oh. Don't worry, Inspector. I brought my quill and journal, too. Your adoring fans won't miss a word. Capital! This is why you are my favorite assistant, Nashu. Now behold, as I ensnare our prey with a web of words, leading to his inevitable demise. Good mor- uh, Yeah. Good morning, Master g, -g, -g, -g And a fine morning it must be, for you most of all. Allow me to offer my most heartfelt congratulations on your betrothal to the enchanting Miss Arabella. <coughs> What is this nonsense? Arabella is my daughter! You... <coughs> just who in the Seven Hills are you, anyway? Guards! Guards! Ah, 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 ah! Now hold your chocobos, Google. I recognize this lad. This is Hildebrand, AJ Inquiry and Inspector and Strawnair. Come to save the lovely lass from the clutches of the Phantom Thief, have you? I reckon we owe the man our gratitude, eh, Vans? The Phantom Thief? Boulder dash and rot, if you ask me. That said, my betrothed must be quite the beat indeed to have such rumours told about her. Perhaps she's worthy of me after all. Ha <laughs> ha! 
He exudes an unusual degree of confidence for such an appetite. Fashion challenged youth. Most suspicious. He's Don't a damn sight easier in the eyes than you. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> That's me vans ever come in the face of danger. Truly is Father Son. A, wor a worthy heir to the Brugger Consortium. A worthy match for my daughter, I must say. Yes, I foresee many years of prosperity for our families. Or family, I should say. <laughs> Which reminds me, Master Vans. Arabella asked me to convey her gratitude to you for the golden clasp you sent her months ago. It was not left her neck since the uh, is not left her neck since the day. Oh, that little trinket. Twas nothing. Tell your daughter the greatest treasures in the realm will be hers once we're wed. <laughs> He's a slot. The, the time-honored <laughs> Mandeville. Hey, thank you very much for the gift sub to Style Fox Milk Steak. You're now on the leaderboard in third place. Also, as an aside, you have gifted 57 gift subs in total. My God. <laughs> <laughs> the time-honored Mandeville Art of Parlay. We'd be sleeping with the fish head now had Morgan not spoke up on your behalf. That said, nothing about the interaction between three struck me as particularly unnatural. <laughs> Let us not rush to conclusions, Miss Ellie. A gentleman fancies a more methodical approach. Why didn't my thing update? Oh, I love that bar. It's completely useless. Yes, everything is proceeding according to my master plan. Oops, I suppose I was supposed to be taking this down, wasn't I? Everything is proceeding according to my master plan. I sought only to earn the trust of the families before confronting El Donato and Lewinart, who have, who have aroused my suspicion from the start. Come! We have a thief to apprehend. And I have chippies to eat. Chips. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> what if you made a pizza using only junk food? That is a film, I think. I keep, I keep wanting to hold left bumper to uh, to sprint like in Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> You've been playing too much Skyrim. Yeah, but unfortunately that just makes you auto run and I keep I keep I keep messing up. <laughs> I'm falling off to my death. Not oh, there that you one, are. Fox. Yep, now I see it. You got another Etsy order today? Hey! Hmm? I've not seen your faces round here. With the East Elden our Trading Company, are you? Why, yes, good sir. Very much with them. Some might say we, we are the East Elden our Trading Company. <laughs> oh, oh, pleasure to meet you. Do tell, is the Lapis Maiden as lovely as they say? Shana here is no slouch herself, but like me, she's getting on in years. Uh, no offense intended, my dear. Oh, but where are me manners? Yalta Nalto, the Bruguer Concert. C consortium? Consortium. And this is my wife, Shiana. I look forward to many profitable dealings with you and yours in the moon and, 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 with you and yours in the moons and years to come. Aye, dare I say this way and the join together of our family businesses could be happening at a better time. What with the man old fell beasts and beast men taking them aims at our wares. Why, just the other day a shipment of important foodstuffs was waylaid by the Mandragoras. Nasty buggers, a lot of them. If I were 20 years younger, I'd dice them up myself and make a salad out of Hm? Mm hm? You have heard, uh, heard of the uh, Mandragoras, have you? You're eating pizza, Tressert? But, 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 of course! So I once I. spent a year honing body and mind with the fist of Ralgar. My fellow monks and I would chat several hundred Macho Watsits a day. And your food stores were occasionally raided by the ruthless band of rogue vegetables known as Mandragoras, yes? Would it kill you to read the Mithril and educate yourself from time to time? A fearsome lot they are. Rumor has it will not rest until every fruit or vegetable harvested for the consumption has been freed from captivity. 
why they struck at the larder here just days ago. Our supplies were decimated. Fear not, my lady. I was able to arrange for an emergency shipment to replace the stolen produce. It arrived safely some time ago. So daring, Shona. Forgive me, wife. She's always saying our meat is bad for a figure. And with that, I'd best go prepare my speech. Carry on, lads! <clears throat> Question so well, apparently. Apparently. Criminy. None of these three were suspicious in the least. But we must not give up hope, lest he of many faces has the last laugh. Where there is a will, a gentleman shall find a way. Come, Nashu, we must move quickly, or the lapis maiden shall not be the only one co co to come to harm. Oh, you speak so fast, Inspector. A sign of a quick mind, I'm sure. And where was I? Uh, give up hope. Many, many faces will at last. The lapis maiden shall not be the only one to come to harm. I'm not sure that captures the inspector's intended meaning. But this is no time for us to be standing around. Inspector Briardine will be back any moment now, and he's not the type to suffer excuses. Quite so, Miss Hillary. Fortunately, I have a plan. Let us investigate the foodstuffs of which Master Lewinart spoke. Should we find any contradictions in his testimony, we could consider the man a prime suspect. Digimon Frontier theme. Uh, okay. Um, I don't remember the lyrics. Uh... Look, look to the past as we head for the future to reclaim the digital world. Faith in ourselves and trust in each other. We live by the lessons we've learned. <laughs> as we work towards one solution through a spirit evolution. <laughs> noises in the Opa. Opa. Digimon forever united as one Digimon it's something <laughs> Digimon it's something the spirit is strong and we're all for well, for us we're all in a world for us all and we're all for a world as a world for us all Pokemon! <laughs> I will fucking kill you. <laughs> God damn it! You're not allowed to ruin the actual good one. Why are you. Stop with the cussing! I'm sorry. It's my natural speech pattern and I just don't think about it. I, w I am making an effort not to, but. Uh... Right! <laughs> Inspector Briardine will be Inspector okay. Briardine will be back before long. Come, Nashu, this is no time to delay. Yes, it is, because I want to eat some chippies. This is kind of the hard part. I can't just eat while I'm doing the dialogue, so it's like I like to eat while playing. So <laughs> I just find you amusing. You just had dinner, and you're like, I'm gonna eat some chips. Well, dinner is dinner. Chips are chips. Exactly. <laughs> mm. Wings. You had wings? Yeah, I'm eating on some wings and pizza. Mm. Pizza. Uh, I love how close to this all looks when it's actually daytime. Yeah. It's so pretty. <clears throat> But no, seriously, Little Caesars is really good. I, yes, haven't it is. I haven't actually had Little Caesars. And it's really inexpensive. Not gonna lie, I prefer Little Caesars over Domino's. Ah. I've never tried Little Caesars either, so I don't know. Crates of assorted foodstuffs and a veritable host of luscious looking coconuts. It appears that our man Lewinout spoke true. You gets! Are those explosives? I spy. I uh, explosives. I spy. I spat. Spy concealed amongst these coconuts. Perhaps I spoke in haste. It would appear that we have found our phantom, phantom thief after all. Oh, those are mine, Inspector. I was looking for a place to set them down. You see, and those coconuts were looking awfully lonely. That's not where you were stood when I started talking to him. Nashu, far from me to cast doubt on your choice of hobbies, 
What in the name of the Twelve will possess you to bring your creations to an investigation? Well, they were so helpful in jogging your memory that one time. I just thought... Uh, does this mean you won't be needing this piece of driftwood either? Your enthusiasm is always admirable now, Shu. But in this event, I fear it's somewhat misdirected. Now, set the driftwood down over there and concentrate on taking your notes like the astute assistant you are. That driftwood totally won't be important later. <laughs> I say, we are most fortunate that confounding Inspector Briardine is otherwise occupied at the moment. Were you to chance upon this scene, you would veritably explode in rage. Let us dispose of these things before an errant ember sends us all to a fiery demise. Confounding <laughs> Inspector Briardine explode in fiery demise. Got it! Are you sure about that? <laughs> oh no. I remember this part. <laughs> uh oh, don't look now, but someone has returned to the absolute worst possible time. <laughs> you were supposed to be keeping an eye on the suspects and staying out of trouble, yes? And the inspector will have a fit if he sees you here. B Miss Ellie! Should Inspector Bridey come upon these explosives, the consequences will be even more dire! <laughs> Sharon and I will see that the inspector keeps a wide berth at this beach. You two just get out of here and be quick about it. Quick thinking, Miss Ellie. Come, Nashu. We shall return for your creations once Inspector Briardine has been led safely from the scene. Investigation calls us, and we must heed its cry. Okay. Having me some more chickens. So Hildebrand has managed thus far not to destroy anything. Consider me something almost resembling impressed. <laughs> Indeed, but enough about Hildebrand. Karen and I have been waiting to hear your latest theories. We should go somewhere quiet and... Excellent idea, Miss Ellie. Uh, yes, the spot over there just by the crate should suffice. There, of all places? But surely you would find somewhere more scenic. I'm not here on vacation. I am here to solve a case. Besides, we cannot afford ourselves to have our conversation overheard. That junk-littered beach should afford us some welcome privacy. Y yes, Inspector. Privacy, indeed. <laughs> Bloody hells. I I don't worry, Sharon. I'll figure out some way to lead him clear of the bombs. Is it just me, or is there a bit of a chill in the air? Perhaps we should go somewhere at least warm. Oh, I for one welcome a respite from the sweltering heat. Besides, this will not take long. <laughs> oh my god, Sharon's face. <laughs> if you insist, Inspector. Oh! The questioning of a blast blade of a brass blade attacked by our quarry. I have th identified the three individuals most likely to be our thief in disguise. To wit, Morgant, Yalto Nalto, and Luinart. The three of us shall split up, with each of us keeping watch over. <clears throat> are you two listening? Uh, of course we are, big pardon, Inspector. You look unwell, Miss Ellie. Perhaps you are right. I, too, feel a chill wind blowing in. Mayhap we should continue our conversation elsewhere. Ah, but there is no need. Wait here, and I shall build us a fire. Ha ha ha! Methinks the inspector has taken a leave of his senses. Excuse me, the chance of locating suitable kindling on these barren shores is infinitesimal. Do 
here we are. This piece of driftwood should serve perfectly. And as fortune would have it, I just happen to have a flintstone on my person. <laughs> my boy! <laughs> He's just doing the my boy face! <laughs> <laughs> there is no cause for alarm. It is not blood that courses through the inspector's veins, but ice. I cannot fathom a series of events that would lead to such a calm and composed individual to lose his firm grip on that fiery torch. Remarkable insight, Inspector. I must record these words for posterity. My boy. Whee! It's flying. What have we here? Everything is accor proceeding according to my master plan. <laughs> Could this be another challenge from this fiend, my boy? <laughs> Surely you jest, Inspector. It looks nothing like his usual card, see? Doubtless it's just the idle ravings of some madman. Yes. Perhaps so. But we must exercise due caution. As there are two more pages. Hey, ah, there are two more pages. <laughs> Give up hope. He of many faces will laugh last. It is not the lapis main alone that shall come to harm. It is more direct than his previous challenges, but there can be no doubt as to the sender. But what is this talk of another victim? The final page holds the answers, no doubt. Final page. Oh! Confounding Inspector Briardine will meet a fiery demise. <laughs> oh! Now she's just sneezing in the background. Oh my god. Th this has no business being this well set up. <laughs> I know. ridiculously big on your fingers they do <laughs> which is odd considering how massive his hands are ah, i'm pretty sure uh, they just about as... uh, oh <laughs> I love how they just have a separate model of Hildebrand that's just him in the ground. Dead! No, it's okay. He's undead. Damn it all. <laughs> I 
he survived worse. Yeah. You saw through the fiend's wounds. But how? Uh, let's just call it um, reporter's intuition. Are you hurt? A ringing in my ears, but otherwise no worse for the wear. You have my gratitude. Mm. <laughs> Hildebrand of Mandeville. Were you able to learn aught of the fiend who made his in this ign ah, ignoble attempt on my life? I exhausted every effort, Inspector. Yet I fear our queries proves ever elusive. Excellent. I might have died of shock if you had. At any rate, our foe has revealed himself as no mere thief, but a madman who will resort to cold-blooded murder. We must redouble our vigilance, lest the others come to harm. That was wrong. <laughs> vigilance! Yes! Vigilance is the order of the day! Snack. <laughs> yeah, it's snacks, plural. What yeah. in the name of the gods, Sal's teeth! Those vegetables cost a fortune! And they're ruined! Ruined! Agent of inquiry, more like agent of injury and incompetence! You are to replace the supplies that you destroyed before the banquet begins, or I will see the entire lot of you rotten gowl! Jail. Jail. Why was it spelled gowl? That, that's, that's the old that's English how... spelling. Oh, okay. Jail! <laughs> that seems unnecessary. <laughs> They use a lot of Old English in the text, actually. Yeah. Ye, yay, thou, they. <laughs> that is technically early modern English. I know. Kaze, you're a cutie. I don't remember what voice I gave this guy. <laughs> Boofy. What was that terrible explosion coming from the beach? Is everyone safe? Fear not. The fiend's artless attempts on my life have been thwarted. Sadly, your food supply did not escape unscathed, Master. Uh, scathed. Master Gugliech forbids that the damaged ingredients be replaced with all speed. <laughs> Gods! This is no thief, this is a madman! As to replacing the ingredients, I fear that will prove a difficult task. Those crates contained imported vegetables of considerable rarity, you see. Vegetables are in particularly short supply these days. What with the mandragoras at large? Even if I were to place the order immediately, it would likely take days to arrive. The mandragoras. I have heard of that failed band. Tell me, what manner of vegetables did they steal? The rarest was an import from the Far East. I do not recall the name, but it very closely resembled the Eorzean dragon pepper, save for its color, which was a deep purple. Methinks you dost worry too much, Master Luminart. Our course of action is clear. We need only storm into the den of those overgrown weeds and steal your precious purple dragon peppers right back. I would ad Okay, talk to you later, Ada. You're here just lurking? Okay. I would adv advise against that, Inspector. These are no ordinary mandragoras, but rather a bloodthirsty band of killers given succulent flesh. Even the brass blades of the Gibera, 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 whatever. Copa Banana proved unable to resist them. <laughs> oh, ho, a formidable Wait. foe. What? I heard Copa Banana. I did say Copa Banana. I was referencing Food okay. Fight. It's, okay. I know it's Copa Cabana. I was referencing Food Fight. <laughs> Oh-ho, a formidable foe indeed. Were only there a brave soul in our midst with a want for taking on fearsome enemies with not a shred of concern for his own well-being. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes, friend. They speak to me. They say, ah, yes, I shall vanquish these rogue vegetables and deliver the purloined goods back to their rightful owner. Um, I, I didn't say that. But you truly are a godsend adventurer. Once soon, the Mahal of the Yellow Jackets has been charged with defending the roads from the Mandragoras. If anyone would have knowledge of their current whereabouts, it would be him. Without those ingredients, Master G G G G G G 
Gary rules Ash as a loser is like to cook with me instead. <laughs> Please, friend, you're our only hope. <laughs> oh, okay, he's still talking. A gentleman would never let his comrade face danger alone. Let us away to Limsa <sighs> together. Oh. Now we can go to Limsa. Away we go. Okay, I guess I'll just wait for your. Oh, it was exactly where the, where the offer I was given anyway. <laughs> so, uh, just to remind you guys, if you check in the top right yeah. corner. You can see a nice um, little bar up there in the top right. It says 54, but we're actually at 55 subscribers. And it's for a subscription goal. And if we get to 60, we'll have a bonus stream, which will be voted on by the viewers in a poll. So, yeah. Subscriptions. Give whatever. Yeah, help a lot. <laughs> I'm still no good at shilling. And I've been doing this for almost a year now. If you've come for the Mandragoras, I feel you're half about too late. As will we blast it all. To hear the poor merchant tell it no sooner he had opened his cargo hold to check on a shipment of vegetables that did an onion turn on him, screeching bloody murder. Fueled his own vessel and she fled his own vessel in sheer terror, he did. By the time he came to his senses, it had set sail without him. The merchant left for Aleport, hoping to recoup his losses. If you're a mind to go after the culprit, you might lend an ear to his sad tale. Ah! Is the thrill of chase not invigorating, friend? The ferry docked by Fisherman's Bottom will carry us to Ilport. Let us be swiftly on our way. <gasps> Excuse me. To Beerport. Oh, hello. Guys, I found Sharon and the cooler Sharon. <laughs> Um, I'm okay. concerned that those underwear exactly match his fur pattern. I guess he's running around with his cat dink out. Uh, where did everyone go? What did we do? I'm just checking my retainer real quick. Just go ahead and go to Aleport. I'll catch up. I can get to Aleport through the Ethernet, yeah? No. Should oh. have a teleport offer from John. Oh, okay. Right there. Yep. It didn't show up. Okay. Good. Tiny traitor. What shall we talk about? Eve, don't sneak up on me yes. like that! I thought you were a feral turnip! A murderous eggplant! Or something like that! Think i just do you? You'd be singing a different tune if a shot of tomato juice almost took out your eye. As it did mine! My eye! By the time I regained my wits, they'd already set sail with me ship and me livelihood. I'm ruined! Ruined! I'll have to return to my job as a retainer of the Mushroom Kingdom! If I never see another bleeding onion to the end of me days, it'll be too soon! I hope everyone's doing alright. I think got off to a rough start in your end. Oh my god, yeah, no, everything that could have gone wrong went wrong while I was trying to set up. <laughs> ah. Oof. I'm assuming we gotta talk to this clown again. Yep, this time I ask you to save the realm save the realm from a vegetal scourge. To hear most say it, the Mandragoras are a nasty lot! A right pain in the arse to farmers and provisioners the realm over! But let me tell you, friend, that ain't the least of it. Bringing their fellow fronds from our larders and tables is but the beginning. The bulbous blackguards have a far grander scheme. Revolution! My niece, you say? A fairy to the Isle of Umbreon, see with your own eyes. A veritable vegetable kingdom where eggplants and turnips rule with an iron fist. Hmm? This muzzle-bound fellow with a dim expression. I can swear I've seen his face somewhere before. Look at me! If it ain't the undead overlord, but fancies himself a gentleman inspector! 
excuse me. <clears throat> Which would make you, I, could it be the adventurer that bested the thief and duelist in single combat? Yes. Well, better me and call me inspector. Tell me, is it true that Joel has traveled with a demon bird whose crow could split the heavens? Toad will always live on through other characters, always and forever. But that's neither Why? here nor there. I'm sorry? Why? Why not? <laughs> would this vegetable ki kingdom border the mushroom kingdom, or would it be close to, like, Rogueport? It borders the mushroom kingdom. The turnip kingdom is the second greatest threat to peace in the mushroom kingdom. I also said that I real realized Rogueport is technically a part of the mushroom kingdom. Well, it's the mushroom lands, at least. Anyway. Yeah. But that's neither here nor there. Oh, that's neither here nor there. Look, I don't know about you, but I ain't so keen on the notion of calling that bloody tomato your grace. And that's exactly the fate we're in for if we don't nip this revolution in the butt. And I mean that literally. As we speak, the Mandracoras are planting themselves a whole army of their own kind on the Isle of Umbra. You'll be doing the whole round of favor if you can go there and uproot them before the harvest comes! I just realized Corgi isn't, like, uh, on the party anymore. Yeah, uh, she went ahead ar already and probably already did all this. Okay. Mean, I'm experienced. I'm watching it through you, that's why. Oh, okay. There's no, re there's no reason for me to read it when I can hear you reading it. It would just mess me up while I'm reading. Many a case have I solved in my day, but I have not met Twitch with the sentient plant life before. Oh, no, 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 this is Hildebrand talking. Many a case... I'm gonna make up sound like Captain Toad now. And it, no, I'm joking. Many a case I solved in my day, but I have not met Twitch with sentient plant life before. This should prove quite exhilarating. To the Isles of Umbra! There, Toad's gone. All right, everyone, on, on the chocobo. So yeah, basically, I'm just, like, doing the hard, uh, trials while I'm waiting. <laughs> but yes, Kaze, Toe will always live on through other characters. So. Most hated fictional characters. Huh? Toad. Umbridge. Minetta. Yes, also that. Everyone in Fable 3. <laughs> I still haven't played Fable 3. You don't need to. Do you enjoy the first Fable? Yes. Don't play it. It'll ruin it for you. I also, in I also kind of enjoy the second one. It'll ruin that for you, too. Because I also kind of thought this... I mean, I, I mean, I didn't, like, love it, but I thought the first... The second one was okay. Oh, wait. If we're going to be doing this, we have to take out our Mandragora companions. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, yes. What page are you? There you are. I feel a hostile gaze upon you. Hang on. Let me Look, just... Plants are friends. <laughs> Minion guide... Na, 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 na. Yeah, I do have I a kid, Dragora. Yeah. There we go. There. Friends. Friends. All right, now we need to find the next one. And the next one. Another and one. The next one. And another one. Another one. And another one. So what you're saying is, Abyss, you don't like it when I scream in the Captain Toad voice? No. Are you gonna let so me now, move? just imagine a character with Minetta's attitude, Umbridge's uh, outfits, and Captain Toad's voice. Yay! No. Don't, don't, you! <laughs> da -da -da -da! And it looks like a character from Fable 3. Ew, so it looks like a gross Shrek toe person. Off we go. The seeds of rebellion. 
I don't know why it's saying that I used my my sprint. I I didn't. Or did you? No. Oh hi Hildebrand. Why why are you why are you presenting again? Worry not, for I remain close in pursuit of our query. How far are you on the on the surface? I take it I'm gonna have to level sync. Yep. All right, let's just do combat. And by that I mean I'm mostly just gonna be healing you guys. At least we have a good party composition. I hated having to do this alone. Do I hear Terra? She go boof. Boof. Terra go boof. I mean, kind of, yeah. Oh, okay. Apparently a plasmoid has been uh, brought into the battle, so I'll just kill that super quick. I didn't I mean to cast Holy again, but alright. I have been slipped. Slipped. Thank you, uh, Fenbot, for- oh, no, no, I'm the one who put an exclamation mark tip, and then went like, hey, guys, tip! <laughs> Tips are a good, easy, quick way to, um, help support the stream. On top of that, oh, if no, you- we just got teleport. On top of that, um... Yo, Korg, you're a cutie! Okay, let me just- mm. Uh, no, I wanna- Oh, okay. The Uber left without me. Thank you very much for hosting, Kaze! Woo! I forgot to do that. You forgot to do what? Host. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Thank you for the host, um, Abyss. Thank you for the host, Corey. Thank you, though. Welk. Are you guys loaded in yet, or...? Yeah, I'm already at the class oh, okay. person. Oh, okay. Um... I was actually, I was, like, waiting, because I wasn't sure if you guys loaded in yet. Oh, it's... Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> you return! I feared you might end up a tasty snack for a crazed head of cabbage. Here, the stolen food stuffs. Unbagged. The stolen food stuffs! You've saved my eye today! Oh, but I must see if those purple dragon peppers are intact. Master. <laughs> Gary's mod TF2 YouTube poop is quite particular about his seasonings. Oh, can I come too? I've never seen a purple dragon pepper before. That wild vegetable chase was a pleasant diversion, but it is time he returned to the case. Now, there must be some clue that yet eludes us. Cor, the peppers have changed color. Right, she's supposed to be British. What's this? Peppers that possess the same powers of disguise as our many-faced foe. A gentleman must needs investigate. Harry, you're a cutie. A striking, a striking shade of blue, quite far from the purple that Master Luminar described. Perhaps we recovered the wrong crate. But look here, Inspector. The crate is clearly marked for Costa de Sal. How curious. 
D did I say purple? I, I meant a purplish blue or a bluish purple. Two colors are really quite similar when you think about it. These peppers have a most distinctive hue. No man could reasonably mistake it for any shade of purple. Unless, of course, he was wearing a very particular sort of eyewear at the time. The charade's up! After that man! Oddly shaped fruits? It is as I suspected all along. The goggles have proved the key to cracking the case. With speed in our shoe, that fiend must be brought to justice. It's not gonna be him. Literally the only one that's not a moron in this group is the player character and the invest and, and, and the reporter. Terrence, you missed the Uber. I keep forgetting that you have the Uber. <laughs> I, love how, I love that we just keep calling it that. Fallacy. Oh no! Why did we feel the need to use the Uber? It really wasn't that far. Oh no, he's dead. I wish he was doing the family guy pose. <laughs> you can run, but you nice cannot. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! If you thought you could expert this Mandervo man, you were sorely mistaken. For pilfering a priceless blade, threatening a maiden's virtue, and untold crimes against the law-abiding citizens of Eorzea, I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, Inspector Extraordinaire, hereby place you under arrest! The searing egg! Oh, thank you for petting, uh, Fembot. Done in by a snut by a sniffer. A fitting end for an ignoble thief. Let us see what lies behind them. He literally killed by a crab. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? <laughs> <laughs> Playing the fool will avail you not. I suggest you come willingly. A gentleman is not given to violence, but should you attempt to give head pats to style, insta face of regret. <laughs> but should you attempt to resist, I disavow responsibility for any shattered skulls and broken bones. Wait, uh, I remember now. I was on my way to meet with Miss Arabella when... <gasps> Miss Arabella! I must find her at once! Oh, my head! Hmm. It would seem this man wears no mask. This is the true Loon Hunt. Mm. I swear in my life that is so. I was en route to the estate in Wineport. One of the brass blades on patrol approached me. We exchanged greetings in the next instant. He turned on me. I fought desperately to defend myself, even managing to drive a kitchen knife into the man's right hand. In the end, though, he proved too strong for me. Now you mention it, the imposter was we <laughs> was wearing gloves. I knew there was something suspicious about him. Yes, Krazy, you are on Fox. You are M Fox. Fox. There's still time before the banquet begins. 
Knowing our quarry, he has doubtless already assumed a new identity. And yet he could have, no uh, and yet he could have not have foreseen this turn of events. It is unlikely that he had the time to thoroughly research his new target. More importantly, we now know that the thief suffered a wound to his right hand. We simply need to return to Costa de Sol and examine the hands of all present. An excellent plan, Inspector. While you do so, we shall accompany Luanart back to the estate, that we might assure Miss Arabella's safety. Oh, no! I just can't believe it. They are attacking onions. Oh, mm. Onion? Oh, no. Oh, no! I have found you, my little ones. Let me guess. You seethe with anger at those that took from you what was yours. Oh, okay, it's the thief. Um. Then it would appear our goals are in accord. Make run cost to this Saul and await my orders. When the time is right, revenge will be. You know what the sad thing is? The Mandragoras actually have some pretty in-depth lore in this game. They're so cute. Yeah. I want a Mandragora Jesus. Peace Tribe. I was gonna make the that joke earlier and I forgot. But, but yes. Spectres. I think a Seek Peace Tribe might make sense for uh, Endwalker. Yeah. Bye! Or maybe we'll finally get that lizard one that's in Linosia. Now, what mask will I shall I wear to the ball? Ew! I, we finally Wait, got I thought finish. I heard someone over here! <laughs> And away we go. I'm your Uber driver. I'm outside. Oh yeah, Fox and I also unlocked the coils of Bahamut so we can do that at some point. Yay! Woo. Code seeing what's going on. Hey! Miss Arabella, what are you doing out here? You must return to the estate at once. Huh, okay, so I need to think of a really nice, pretty voice for her. Oh, Lewin! Oh, he's the worst! I will fucking kill you! <laughs> God damn it! I'm sorry! You, you know what? You no, you do not blame me for that <laughs> swear. That was all you. <laughs> oh, Lewin, always the worrier. Your concern is touching, but I'm a woman grown. Besides, I just wanted to see the flowers. Lovely oh, heck, heck, flowers. heck! Lovely though these flowers may be, they are as unsightly weeds when measured against your beauty. I am Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire. Please call me Hildy. The pleasure is mine, the lord. Much have I heard of your deeds. Tell me, are these rumors of a many-faced thief true? Toad really does bring out the worst in all of us, doesn't he? Yes! <laughs> Toad just exists and everyone is more miserable for it. <laughs> I fear they are, Miss Arabella. But still your gentle heart. But, st oh, but still your gentle heart. For as long as Hildebrand is on the case, the fiend shall not lay a twisted finger upon you. This I swear on the Mandeville name. The gods smile on me indeed, to send such a strong and handsome gentleman as my champion. And yet... You seem pensive, milady. Is something the matter? To tell the truth, this marriage has been arranged against my wishes. 
I do not love Vans. Why, I've not even met him. He sent me this clasp as a betrothal gift. A treasure for my treasure. Wear it always, the message said. I do not care how beautiful it is. It might as well be a golden shackle. M Miss Arabella, you must not say such things. An arranged marriage to a youth you have not even met. Unconsciousable. Father says that this marriage must happen. It is for the future of the family trade. Spoken like a true old Don. But if I may be bold, my lady, would I be correct in assuming that you and your father are not related by blood? Quite so. Father found me amongst the beggars on Pearl Lane when I was just a babe. He took me in and raised me as his own. He took Lewin in as well, though as servant rather than son. You may think Father a cold, miserly man, but to me he is the man who gave me warmth and hope when I had none. I learn to love. I will learn to love Vans if that will make Father happy. But tell me, is he back at it again with those white Vans? <laughs> You must give her a nice, lovely, ladylike voice. I'm just here to look at the flowers. I'm here to look at the flowers. <laughs> you cannot be serious, Miss Arabella. You're a beautiful young woman with your whole life ahead of you. Surely you would not have to look too far to find a gentleman with whom you would rather spend the rest of your days. If I had to spend another hour with you, I would lose my wits. Anyway, we should return to Costa de Sol and see how the inspector's investigation is faring. I, as well, must prepare for the banquet. Farewell, friend. Nah. <laughs> you know what? I just realized I could have made her sound like Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> With the man's virtue hanging in the balance, Hildebrand would hasten back to Costa de Sol. We've not a moment to lose, friend. The time of our final confrontation with the Fiend is nigh. Our foe has doubtless assumed a new identity, but have no fear. Upon your return to Costa de Sol, I shall employ the time-tested Mandeville art of Paulet to cut through the Fiend's flimsy facade. Tis an art that I would impart to you as well, friend. Though there will be time enough for that once our foe is in shackles and Miss Arabella is safe. No doubt, it shall prove as... <laughs> Invaluable in our your adventures as in my investigations, all failing that, serve to entertain you when you have nothing better to do. But I digress. A gentleman must away to Costa de Sol. The fair maiden's life hangs on the balance. Nashu, Miss Ellie, with me! Jump, 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 ba dump. Ooh woo. 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 Look at how beautiful. What a beautiful day for a banquet this is. <laughs> In Aorzia time, it is currently 10 37 p.m. It looks more like hell p.m. right now. That's because it's foggy. Forty two. Forty three. I'm sorry. <laughs> Inspector Briar Dude, have you seen to the maiden? I, I have seen to the maiden safety. Miss Arabella will be along soon. How fares is your investigation? I have canvassed through the grounds, but none of the guests are concealing their hands. Their hands. How can this be? Uh, the thief must be somewhere. <laughs> Miss Arabella just left the state. I hear. Suppose we'll find out soon enough if her beauty is a true match for our own. <laughs> There's no time. Without the thief in custody, we cannot risk allowing Miss Arabella to take the stage. B -b 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 Inspector! Fans and his family will not take kindly to the betrothed's absence. Hell, PM would have a lot more fire and pain and a lot less cute on the screen. That's you. What? Hell. Oh, hell, PM. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about Project M. I'm like, what? Hmm. That is nothing of my concern. Besides, doubtless the inspector here will think of something. Me? What do you propose? You're the expert at creating diversions. Can't you just knock something over, blow something up, or the like? You know, like you always do. 
Inspector Brydeen, I knew the day would come that you recognize my many talents. Worry not about Mas Master Vans. For the sake of the maiden, a gentleman will do what must need be done. The poor sap lacks even the wits to know when he's being insulted. Now to the task at hand. We must find a way to conceal Miss Arabella's true identity. It's not far from here at the servants' quarters. There should be a change of clothes lying about. Perfect. Charon, find some suitably or ordinary garb and deliver it to Miss Arabella outside the gates. I shall proceed with the investigation. Okay, so we gotta go dress her up in, like, poop clothes, okay. Yeah. At least we aren't the only ones who have to suffer through that. I like how you... I like, uh, um, oh, okay, I thought you were doing the Uber You will person. not let that one quest go, will you? No! No, no I will not! <laughs> <laughs> of all the things in this game to be petty about... <coughs> Excuse me. Has the lapis meeting arrived yet? I simply must look upon her beauty for myself. Servant's garb, you say? I much prefer what you're wearing, but we'll certainly have enough rags to go around. Here you go. Do with them as you will. They're very trusting. <laughs> right. Hey, Fox. What's the Lollafell's name? What? What Lala fell? I, I, I legitimately don't understand. The one that owns Costa Del Sol. Oh, I don't remember. It's like Gatorade or something. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, friend. Oh, what's this you have for me? Servant's garb, but why? Miss Arabella, with the thief still at large, the risk of letting you be seen is too great. Change into those clothes and promise that you will not leave my sight. But, but the ceremony! Uh, my father will be furious, and Lord Vans... We are dealing with a man who tried to blast me to the heavens and almost succeeded. He cannot exercise enough caution. As for the ceremony, I have entrusted the matter to a certain gentleman. You need only concern yourself with your own safety. We do as the we should do as the inspector says, Miss Arabella. Your life is more important than this marriage or whatever profits your father stands to gain from it. Lewin, if father heard you saying such things, I should have said them long ago. But by not doing so, I put your life in danger. But besides, we have not one but two skilled inspectors on the case. It will not be long until the fiend is brought to justice. Very well. I shall wait. I shall retreat to the carriage. Pray, wait for me here. Pray away. Oh no. That sounded like some mighty fine bullshit. <laughs> Sorry. God damn it! Bull oh, crap. Y'all have like, y'all have like sailor mouths. <laughs> my apologies for the delay. What should I do with my banquet dress? And I mean, then again, I wanted to talk. <laughs> I was gonna say. Sharon, like, Sharon, bring Miss Arabella's dress to that bumbling inspector. I dare not speculate as how he intends to see his task, but I would imagine he requires all the help he can get. Now let's return before the festivities begin. Don't choke on rice. It hurt. Stop nearly killing yourself! <laughs> Jesus style! What is it foxes and choking choking on food? That's a I great question. Yeah, now I can fly with a behemoth. Since I wouldn't be told you about hurting yourself. Ah, you return. Me, I was in the act of formulating a master plan to distract Master Vance at the ceremony. I fly by how much y'all y'all care of me, but it was only rice. Yeah, but like, it seems like every time I stream and you're in the comment, you're always like, "Oh yeah, by the way, I got hit by a car, but I didn't actually die." Like, <laughs> it's like something ridiculous <laughs> always happens. I'm starting to get worried. Mm. 
I was at Distract Master Vans at the ceremony. Is there aught I might do for you? Oh yeah, John, do you like my Maelstrom glamour? Yeah. When I fell down the stairs earlier, that, that hurt. Are you joking? D are you joking? Did you actually fall down the stairs again? Did you actually fall down the stairs again? <laughs> no, I'm waiting until you give me an answer. Gosh, hecky, mister. No, no, okay. No, you're not joking? <laughs> oh my god, stop dying! <laughs> no! Hi, T-Chap. Also, yes, style, please. <laughs> Why, this is Miss Arabella's dress. Oh, for style, fuck, to get bubble wrap to play oh, I. Yeah, I! I. I'm breaking, I'm coming into your house and I'm covering you in bubble wrap. I must admit some confusion as to what to do with it. Worry not, I shall take it into safekeeping. And with that, I must attend to Master Vance before the ceremony begins. Worry not, friend. I assure you that Inspector Briar Dean and I have the situation entirely under control. Why not find yourself a seat and enjoy the festivities? I'm not dying. I'm a recap. I don't trust that now! <laughs> Alright, so we just gotta find ourselves a suit. It's over here. Right here by Cook Hulk. <sighs> Don't cover the box in bubble wrap. No, you you have er, you have lost your not covered in bubble wrap privileges. <laughs> Curses! How am I supposed to find my man with all these people milling about? I'm, the more I voice him, the more I'm starting to make him sound like Shadow. Friends, family, business associates. Tis an honor and a pleasure to welcome one and all to Costa del Sol for today's feast. Co-hosted by the Br 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 Burger King Consortium and the East Alden and Train Company. We trust that you've been in... We, oh. What was that? Well... We trust that... We trust you've been enjoying fine food, fine spirits, and profitable conversation. <laughs> The Lapis Maiden, if even half the tales of her beauty are true, Vance is the luckiest bastard in the realm. You also know, you also know, so, honored guests. It's a, then don't let me go, Ah, oh. It's a great pleasure to announce the patrol of my son, Vance, future chair of the, the Bright Spark Consortium to Arabella, daughter of Master Gator. Of the East Elden and Trading Company. So that the couple would exchange their eternal vows here today, that the happiness that is theirs may usher in a new era of prosperity for one and all. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present my son's lovely bride, the Lapis Maiden, whose beauty minstrels will sing of well, for ages to come. Hildebrand's going to be dressed up in the dress, isn't he? <laughs> Damn you, Hildebrand Mandeville. You had one job! Oh, thank you for giving snacks to Fedbot. Yeah. yeah. She's beautiful! Huh. With the rabble expecting otherwise, she is my bride after all. My lady, they say your beauty transcends even the boundaries of time. When we are wed, you will want for nothing. Pray give your hand unto me. E Ooh, that was beautifully timed, by the way. My son and stars! <laughs> yes, yes, a thousand times yes! I am yours and shall be forevermore! <laughs> what, what have you done to my bride, you cross-dressing deviant?! Not 
quite what I had intended, <laughs> but I suppose it serves our purpose. Fear not, ladies and gentlemen, for Miss Arabella is safe and sound. I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, have but assumed the maiden's appearance to ensnare the vile fiend who would take aim at her life. The fiend who now lies <laughs> defenselessly before me. The game is up, Vans. Or shall I call you by another name? The thief of many faces. The dress would be torn by the flexing. <laughs> me, the thief. Are you mad? <sighs> It appears that's what you think. It's very stretchy. What they don't tell you is that Arabella is actually like a master lifter. And she just is really good at muscle control. It appears that my masterful deductions have proven beyond the grasp of your mind. Oh no. It appears that my masterful deductions have proven beyond the grasp of your mind. Very well. Allow me to elucidate. While there is not a soul in the realm who has not heard the tale of Miss Arabella's beauty, there are but two men here in Constance's soul who have gazed upon her lovely visage before today. Her father, Gilgamesh, and her steward, Luanart. <laughs> As you yourself have admitted on multiple occasions, Master Vans, you are to have your first glimpse of your bride to be today. Considered in his light, would you not say your reaction upon seeing my face was most unnatural? Who else could see through my ingenious disguise? Who could know at a glance that I was not the fair maiden? Not save you, ye of a thousand faces! And anyone else with half their wits about them! <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. How dare you make a mockery of my wedding day! Guards, arrest that pervert at once! Lock him up in jail and throw away the key! Arabella, I thank the gods you're safe. Come with me quickly, there's a dangerous madman about. <clears throat> the glove on his right hand, could it be? Snug pile. Gas, gas, gas! Well, that's dis that design is kind of disappointing. <laughs> the man is a fool, but it would have behooved you to listen to him. Alas, you did not. And what is yours is now mine. Th th that's the thief. That's the thief. Stop wasting your time with that imbecile and arrest him. I don't remember what I made him sound like. I, I don't remember what I made Galoshes sound like, so. <laughs> oh my god. Me. Friends. They are literally the opposite of friends. Friends! <laughs> the tomato one's my favorite. Oh. I like the onion. You came all this way for me. <laughs> you love me. You oh, really I love, love me. <laughs> I have all the faces. <laughs> <laughs> that oof was beautifully timed again. 
the attention is most flattering. But I have taken what I came for, and now I must away. My lords, my ladies, till we meet again! My lady. Oh, 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 no! What do we do? Where do we go? What do we do? I think we have something entirely oh, new. <laughs> it just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> I hear the real Vance was found bound and gagged in a storage room. Uh, truly, sir, truly, Miss Arabella, I am sorry. For what, milady? What if someone asked? <laughs> the bank arrow. Panic. It's time for me to fight, Daddy. Oh no! What does that mean? Odin. <laughs> oh, Din. That's a long one. Excuse me, I'm just... How dare you fight Odin without us? For what, milady? The banquet was more exciting than I could have ever hoped for. Vans and his father were furious, of course, and our marriage has been called off. But perhaps it's for the best. I would find my own way to make father happy, by living my life as I would live it. It is you, Inspector Hildebrand, who have taught me this lesson. We're gonna be bad now. <laughs> <laughs> I swear for his expressions, they just, like, stretch the model as much as they can. For the love so of gods! Fun. Somebody find him a change of clothes! What is love, love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. What is love, 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 baby, don't hurt me, don't hurt me no more. Doop, doop, sorry, karaoke time. Doop, 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 I don't know what I do. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. Something, something, Hildebrand's in a dress. Something, something. Garnish called off the wedding, I think. What is love? We don't know it. Don't know it anymore. Chocolate rain. But one thing still puzzles me. The thief's challenge said he would steal the lapis maiden's virtue. Yet in the end, he took only your necklace. <laughs> the 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 bold and brash dancing. <laughs> now that you mention it. <laughs> now that you mention it, Master Garage Sale told me about the class when it first arrived. <gasps> Engraved with the mark of the sun goddess, it is one of the most treasured pieces from the Bruguer collection, known by many as Azema's Virtue. The maiden's virtue indeed. When the next challenge comes, we must take extra care to read between the lines. <laughs> I cut the music just cut out. No! Oh no, my <laughs> onion! I just can't believe no, it. Onion. They murdered the onion. <laughs> Over here, Inspector. It says I made you look. It's in his ass. Oh no, it's in the back of his head. Hey! <laughs> Onion! The fiend plays us for fools! Give that to me at once! I like how you had to wipe it off. When we next meet, I shall come to claim the victor's spoils. Ugh, another riddle. Mm. If nothing else, it appears the thief has abandoned any foolish notions of my assassination. Still, we must ever be on guard. The 
theme att the thief attempted murder once, he may very well do so again. <laughs> Verily, Inspector, I must agree. One can never be too wary when dealing with a murderer. Hear me, Ma pardon me, man of a thousand faces. You sealed your fate when you called me out by my na by name. Mark by words, when next we meet, you will be mine. Yes, it was the Phantom Thief who was to blame for that bomb. Truly, verily, indubitably, the Phantom Thief. Most certainly. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how Sam's store would sound like a karaoke. It's just someone screaming into the mic. <laughs> a case of indecency complete. To be fair, I, I, I thought of what would it be like if someone asked you to sing that song? The parlay minigame is now available. You have unlocked the parlay minigame. Entertain yourself as, uh, as as many a Manderville man has before before opening the toy chest in any by opening the toy chest in any in room. Okay. We have mini games now. <laughs> Next time on anyway, to the victor goes a priceless treasure. With the smile of a champion, holds secrets untold. Are eight legs better than two? Can a Mandeville man triumph over terrors and win the day? Hildebrand will return in the Coliseum Conundrum! That was a very prominent shot of his crotch. It was. Chicky. Mmm, Enkidu. The key to the next case is also the key to the storeroom. Be sure not to lose it. Wait, if it's a real key and a figurative one at the same time? Is that even... Is that even possible? I guess we'll find out next time. There's always a Coblin. Yep. Toy <laughs> chest. Confirm. You have access to a toy chest. Can several mini games visit an in room? Your hands are these Eorzy pastimes. Uh, I guess we're going to Uldah then. Not yet. Okay. I figure uh, we can wait till. Quest quest first. first. Huh? Okay, but I figure we can um wait to continue Hildebrand. Maybe we could do like an MSQ or something to finish off the stream. You want to do a random roulette on stream? I mean, I guess. I mean, I mean. Remember, or do I you mean, want? I, I, I have Gar I have Garuda Extreme. Or do you I want watch? We could do that. I don't think I have oh. Garuda Extreme. Uh, deep down, yes, you do. We unlocked it the other day. I mean, I guess we can give it a try. Okay, we'll All go right. in unsafe. All right. Let me just. I, 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 I took off Odin, so sure, I need to be out I was of wondering when you'd show up. I've got the latest. Just let me read this out first. On the victor's spoils that our many faced friend has set his sights on. Have you ever visited the Coliseum of late? There's a tourney in the works, and it looks to be about. This is the this is the Hildebrand tournament arc! Yes, it is. Tournament! Yeah, yep. And it's looking to be a big one. The Mithril Cup, sponsored by none other than Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern. They say that Master Feargeist will be furnishing the prizes himself from his personal collection. Many sm um, small wonder that yeah, small wonder it's captured the attention of Mr. Sticky Fingers. You are familiar with the concern, yes? It's only the largest mining interest in the Sultanate, after all. The chairman, Master Feargeist, it's still on the syndicate and possess such wealth that rumor that, that he could buy half the realm if he chooses to. He's also renowned for being something of a martial arts enthusiast. With his position according him little opportunity to test his own skills, he sells for a living vicariously through the exploits of others, hence a sponsorship of tournaments like the Mithril Cup. My colleague G G Ganondorf is an Undal covering the Why is it always the G names? Covering the tourney as we speak. If we were to track him down, I bet we'd be able to give us something to get our investigation started. Okay. Okay, you should have been able to say that one. It's literally Ganalon. It's Gan one letter. Okay. Gamelon? One I Gamelon. Will be back. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. Okay. I should actually probably also use the restroom. 
restroom. You may hear some dogs screaming, by the way. I apologize. She's going to throw a fit ah. because, because Sam has gone to the bathroom. The sound of my people. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to just have them do the Manderville while I go to the bathroom. <laughs> Yay, Screaming Doggo. Thank you for reminding, and thank you, thank you for reminding folks that I do, in fact, accept tips. Fenbot. <laughs> anyway, I'll be right back. You good there? Am I ever? No. There you go. I mean, mood. <laughs> ah! Let's suspend Hildy. Scram! Oh my god, Harry, you should see Sky's face right now. Is she looking particularly offended? Kinda, yes. <laughs> you good there, dog? <laughs> Baby. She get pet. I hate this step of the relic weapon. I've only just started that quest. At least on on Zeke. I've spent. I'll have by the time I finish it, I'll have spent about a million gel. Oof. And only some of that is not required technically. Fennec should be called Scremlins. Oh my god. What is not required? Okay, Tara, get off the couch. Shoo. Go lay on the bed. You'll have more space to sprawl out there. Munchkin. The uh, relic weapon quest step that I'm on um, requires a minimum of 400,000 gil be spent. <laughs> but unless you have all, unless you have all all of your crafter classes at level 50 at least, you're going to be spending more because you have to. Yes, pet. <laughs> You could ask me. I've got everything at 50. Fuck you. The flip. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Heck, thanks to all the kobolds I made, ingots I made yesterday, I'm at like 55 blacksmiths. <laughs> I went up like four levels. The blacksmith, like the three smithing classes, I wouldn't have had a problem with. Literally everything else. Because <laughs> I have. I got, like I got mining to 58. Nice. I have all of them at 80. I have all three gatherings at 80. Give your children pets for me, style. Will do. Yes, lots of pets. Lots of pets. Just they have they they have two clee claws and they're so cute. They look oh, like little huskies. Here. <laughs> John, there's someone here wearing a Namazu head, wearing a princess dress in Limza. Perfect. Oh no, they're beautiful. <laughs> I need to collect a bunch of guild seals as well because. Okay, so, the step I'm on, specifically, you need 
400,000 gel, 80,000 seals, 800 tombstones of poetics. You need to craft eight different items, one for each crafting class, and then you have to go through 16 separate dungeons. Ew. I, 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 I don't like that. <laughs> I'm looking at it and I'm like, they really chose violence. Yes, they did. This Corgo has claws. And honestly, I'm, I'm hoping it can go through the dungeons unsynced, because that'll simplify I like it. the name Scremlins. I like that. Speaking of unsynced, I'm going to go into the Howling Eye as a uh, gunbreaker. Okay, so uh, I'm just sitting here doing the Manderville dance. Okay, just make make me leader so that I can do the thing. I'm not leader. Who's the leader right now? I think it was Dagon. The one put, the one setting everything up. Oh, okay, cool. Then we're all set to go. Okay, I'm just gonna keep doing the Manderville dance. <laughs> Howling eyes. I do really like this new outfit for Charon. Your party leader's application has been denied. Who's not ready? Oh, baby. Jenna, did you actually sink to the eighth right? Yes, I did. Did I sink to the eighth right? No, you did not. Not yet. Um, okay. Uh, Turn on your uh, Garuda quest. Okay, at the east. Um, da -da 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 -da. Journal. The Garuda quest is called. Um, oh, it's like a pun. Um, They're all puns, but yeah. Yeah, it'll be a wind pun of yeah. some sort. I thought it would have been music Gale Force pun, Warning. That's what the other. That's yeah. the one. Turn it on. What does it need you to do? Uh, Reattune re re to, to the 8th right at, at, uh, at Natalyn. At Natalyn. Natalyn! Natalyn! Corthus. Teleport to Corthus. Oh, I I, okay, so just to Corthus? Okay, I was gonna. Because. Yep. Uh, all right. A lot of the quests have pun names. My favorite is still "It's probably pirates." And it's definitely pirates. Yay puns! My yeah. dog is so stupid. He flipped his food bowl and started whining without realizing that his food was underneath. Oh. Wait until he gets to the uh, Titan quest. Wait until he gets to the Titan quest. <laughs> Wake me up before you. Oh, you go, Moro. Oh, I love that name. Okay. I oh my yeah. god, look at the super anime samurai. He's just straight up dressed like Orin, but with like yeah, a hat. Wait, was that the bath head? Shove enough or something. Yay puns! Jeez, somebody stepped on my grave. Do I not have enough for any of the Iron Man stuff? Over this mountain. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm like one off. I hate that. Take me up inside. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go smack some big boys with two toothpick swords. I'll be in at what? Um, alright. I assume Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter? <laughs> yeah. I'm... That's what she said. Oh yeah, I should take back out my Gale Kitchen. I love him. I currently have the appropriate pet minion out for the next set. Oh no! Oh, organization no. 13! Gasp! They are not. Yeah, I got a really cool staff as well. <laughs> for PvP. Well, it's for all use, but you got it from PvP. No, 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 yeah, that, that's what I mean. The Howling Eye Extreme is now accessible. All right, let's get this stuff set up. Lying. Edgelord Club. Eh, just kind of cool looking. I do wish it was, like, in blue or something. Well, that was... You say Edgelord Club, but, like, I'm sitting here with a, a gun blade. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Is it really just going to be the four of us? Yeah, we're going unsynced. Yeah, we're going in unsynced. Oh, God. It's okay. We're higher level than her. Yeah, yeah. but it's Garuda. And? <laughs> we're higher level than her. I we're hate fine. this fight. Can I skip this? Yep. 
that's too fun. The Garuda music is pretty dumb. I love the Garuda theme. Alright, who's tanking? Grim? Okay. Doesn't matter. It really doesn't right now. We'll have her murdered in like 0.2 seconds. Oh, um. Hide behind. Hide me not. Oh, well, I'm dead. That's fine. Dagon can res you. Invigorating! <laughs> Did you not res? No. Come here, Saparna. I'm dead. Well, we have another white mage, so there's that at least. I'm trying to, like, get Saparna away. But I'm dummy thick. Well, I just died. Oh my gosh. It's fine. <laughs> She'll be dead in seconds, huh? What? We're basically we're doing, doing this with he less was than exaggerating. Half That's it. I wish I, I mean, could hear this music is, this, this, right now. I mean, this is a mood, though. <laughs> Hang on. Just oh, crap. Being... I don't have enough MP. Yes, being dead on the floor, that's a mood. Oh, crap. Okay. And I'm dead again. That's fine. Me and John can do this. I mean, that's nice, but, like, this is... People are watching my stream. I would assume that people would want to see me me playing the game. Not see you not dead. Yeah. Um, we're, That's oh. the main reason why. I'm back. Lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming. Because I can do all. I can do these, at least these. Ex, this level of extreme raid. Uh, the solo. Like solo. Yeah. Because I'm a level eight. And she's dead. Yup. I actually think Whoa. I got the killing blow. Horse. I actually I think horse. I got the killing blow. Dang it, no horse. Okay. Cool. Hi, Kako. I've been running the level 50 raids on Samurai lately, and I died at least once per run. No, but I, like, died, like, two seconds within, like, 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 what was it, like, like a second of each other. Uh, do I need any of no. this? No. no, you died, and then it took me a bit to res you, and then you died as almost as soon as you got back. <laughs> Faded copy of Fallen Angel. <laughs> Alright. Now, Fox, after your cutscene, you'll need to go to back to uh, Horizon. Zero Dawn. Well, no. Go where the quest says to go. Yeah, yeah, no, go... Uh, I think it actually takes you to where, uh... To... Gridania? Yeah, it takes you to Gridania first, then Horizon, to pick up the next one. Crystals, of course. Don't! Don't! Excuse me. Doc. 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 Our efforts to augment Garuda's power were met with a predicted success. It is mildly unsatisfying, then, that the Primal was thus summa summarily defeated. Against the Bringer of Light, it appears a heavier hand is required, and, uh, and now that the focus has been discovered, it is of no consequence, even should they understand the significance of its presence. They have no means to prevent the summonings. And the beastmen continue to crave even more powerful avatars every time their gods fall. With each link forged in this chain of ambition, the shackles of chaos are bound ever tighter. If it is not for us, to, it is not for us to speculate such uh, 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 to entertain such speculation. Jesus Christ! Why do we talk like this? 
We are bid only to convey what we have witnessed. Let us be gone from here. They even have stupid dark portals. This is Organization 13. Actually, they're not part of the 13th. <laughs> Okay, yeah, but there's like a hundred. Oh, they have the edgy samurai guy was literally clipped into my model. I don't know what we do now. Bring now the vortex ritual to. Yeah. Tradanya. Yeah. Okay. Follow the quest. Okay, doke. Uh. -na 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 -na. Da -na 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 -na. And I need you. Da -na 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 -na. And I'm Batman. <laughs> and I'm Batman. <laughs> oh, holy crap! The the feedback there. Sorry. <laughs> John, did you just die? Of course. What? What doesn't he die? And you can't answer when I'm happy because, because you know, when I'm in the presence of people like Sebastian Stan, I instantly die. A pure joy. Is that? Is that a reference to something that I don't know because, like, no. I don't spend time on the internet? Okay. Once more, no, that, no it's, it's just, Sebastian it's just, Stan, it's Sebastian Stan. Ha handsome man. Okay. Once more, Garuda has fallen to your might. You have our gratitude, Con you have our gratitude, Sharon. We are blessed to count such here amongst our allies. What's this? Some memento of the battle, mayhem? Uh, one of the uncanny uh, arrangement uh, of God, uh, I've never uh, seen uh, it like. Uh, 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 I cannot guess what foul ritual this object will be used. Might there be some connection to the primal, considering this place in the place in which it was found? <laughs> Himbo. I must ask that you take the grizzly trophy to the waking sands and consult with Uranga. My idealist. Friend. Perhaps he can provide some insight. To the waking sands. There is a reason Bolin is like my favorite character in Korra. Where's the closest place to the to the to the to the waking sands again? Horizon. Horizon. You have tickets. Do I? Yes, I do. Yes. Stop. Don't waste your gill. I ran out of tickets, so I actually have to tell him. Um. Pray return game. to it. Oh, my character's freaking out. Oh, and there we go. no! He was having, like, an episode. <laughs> he was just, like, frozen there. You cannot ignore, no, no, my diamond sword, sword. Waking sands of time. Sands. sands. Did it? Guess what? To the waking what? Song. Next is Titan. Oh! <laughs> my favorite! <laughs> Hooray! Oh, my avatar. Oh, there.